good evening everybody and a very warm welcome to Behringer and today I have a layout update for you and the theme is going to be Volma Delayed now before I tell you why Volma has been delayed um, I'm going to let my cam truck and my, one of my new recruits um, show you why so I'm going to leave you with my cam truck and my, one of my new recruits and I'll be back shortly
So hello everybody and thank you for joining me once again. I hope you enjoyed my little ride around my class 170 and also with the cam truck. I was testing out some new angles as well and some new footage and, and all the rest of it with that little camera just to see where I can shove it and put it and try and get some different angles. So I hope you liked what you saw. So let's move on to the nitty gritty of it all and the reason why Volma is delayed. Now the reason why Volma is delayed is because of this point here. I've decided to take Coffee Hill out as you can see. So basically I've been busy, 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 um, basically rebuilding this whole section of Morwood Station. Um, Morwood one st Platform 1 is still the same. Um, but these two lines here have been um, basically taken up and replaced with brand new track. Also, um, we're going to be adding some ballast, so obviously you can appreciate that I've had to rip out the old track, replace it with this new track um, to get a to get better running. But mainly because I needed to fit this point in, or I wanted to fit this point in, um, because basically I'm going to do um, Volma as a double deck, and that's the reason why that point is here. Um, so as you can see, this is where the branch line is, and that will come up and over. And then the branch line, and this point here will feed a line, another line that will run underneath Volma, which is the reason why Volma is delayed because I can't actually do the top part without doing the lower part. And the lower part is basically going to contain um, a brand new fiddle yard, a smaller cut down version of the one I have already. But the point being is that I can run through services such as my China Clay Works um, ch train without actually needing the China Clay Works. So that could run from one fill yard to the other fill yard. And it's one of those things that I know once I do Volma, if I haven't done the lower fill yard, it'll probably bug me. And obviously, if I do the fill yard, then obviously I've got to put that in place first and then work from the bottom up. So that's the reason why um, Volma is delayed. Um, it shouldn't be delayed by too long because essentially I've still got to build the same unit anyway. But obviously, it's been delayed because obviously I've been working in this section. Now here, I'm probably going to, I kept the building that I had before, but I'm going to probably put another building or a wall across here. I'm going to put another canopy from here and extend it out so it goes all the way across there. And then obviously I'm going to be working on this bit over here um, as well. But basically it just gives me a chance to um, basically have two, um, two fill yards to run with. So basically I can have three services. Um, from one foot of the yard to the other without necessarily needing um, terminus stations as such or without needing any more kind of um, freight facilities so I can run my ballast train as well that's another one that I'd like to run and obviously because it will take more um, space it will be longer on the foot yard here I can have longer China clay trains and longer um, trains to run through through the, through the station so that's something else so that's pretty much about it. I'm going to leave you, love you and leave you with that um, for now. So this is what we've kind of done. I've got to pull this out. I've ripped the, the track up from here up to here, but I'm going to obviously redo that all along there and across. Um, I've also just added this wall here. Um, this is the old retaining wall that was over at Behringer before I put the new section in. So basically I've recycled pretty much all the adverts, all the ad all the um, station name boards, the walling has also been um, recycled and everything like that. So it hasn't gone to waste what I've salvaged, I've salvaged. Um, even the foliage has been salvaged. Um, a good tip, um, if anyone's interested in salvaging um, underbrush and things like that and foliage, is I'll show you what, just bear with me a second. I've got this, this is some underbrush that I've salvaged and when I salvaged it some of it um, was quite was, was quite hard so if you're if you're interested in going through this little bother I tried a little in experiment and it seems to have worked basically um, I've put this all into um, a little tub of warm water and basically added some conditioner to it just some cheap cheerful conditioner like you get 50p from Sainsbury's or something like that you know just the cheapest one you can find and basically it will soften up all the underbrush so basically it revives it 
from when you bought it basically it's the same sort of thing so you can sort of reuse any um, any, any old other brush so basically it's a little tip from the Queen Aline um, I found that it has worked and I've so that's what I've basically done anything that I've taken up I've salvaged all the stuff that I've got to take off took off a um, new shot and off the hill again I've, this is what this is some of it is anyway so this is just salvaged uh, foliage that I've just done and I just experimented I've just dunked it I thought well let me just see essentially I just thought well maybe it's just like like sponge just sort of treat it like that kind of thing so that's what I decided to do and it seems to have done the trick so it's kind of revived all that and you can reuse it anyway so that's my little quick little Queen Aline tip and um, I hope thanks for watching uh, feel free to comment and subscribe and I will get back to you when I have some more done on the layout also um, just before I go um, watch out for another video because there's been a number of new arrivals here including my 170 that's recently arrived um, just a word on the 170 um, Batman are releasing a two car unit apparently this year of the cross country 170 but I've got a three car unit which I picked up from eBay for an unbelievable price um, because considering how much um, a new two car unit will go for um, I've done really well out of that and it seems to be running really really well and there's not a mark on it so anyway I'm going to love you and leave you thanks for watching feel free to comment and subscribe as always and um, I will speak to you soon bye for now